All right. This video is going to be talking about low sat slash low cap coins, uh, low market cap coins. Um, obviously, we have Tell here that a lot of people have just found out about. Uh, most recently, it hit 87 Satoshis, which came out to around five cents. Um, I personally have been holding since 2018. I had a hundred dollars worth uh, when I wasn't, you know, after the uh, when the bear market started. I just held uh, Tell in my KuCoin wallet because it wasn't worth selling. It was a hundred dollars worth. And I was like, ah, I like the project. They're still building. I'll, I'll hold it. Um, three years later, the the whole market turns around because of Bitcoin. Um, now at the point in the market cycle we're at, uh, low caps and undervalued tokens um, are pumping, and Tell actually is a token that um, it, I I always say it on social media. Uh, Tell is the token that XRP wished everybody wished it was. It's a remittance token that uh, just went uh, fully live about a month and a half ago, maybe uh, maybe a month ago, uh, in the Philippines, and it start it started off as um, basically a, a money gram for uh, with the use of cryptocurrency um, for a major remittance company in the Philippines, and that uh, that allowed for people in the Philippines and Canada to transfer money back and forth nearly instantaneously and for less at the time less than half a penny um, so here we are tell is at uh, hovering around three three and a half four cents um, building a nice little uh, base but because it's went up in a straight line technically this is a, this is a three-day chart um, we should see a pullback now everybody's gotten used to dog uh pumping out of its damn mind but even dog uh created a um bull flag structures before it continued up but what i want to show you here what i want to show you here is sensivate it's another token i've been in for about a year year and a half or so uh they're building a solid project they have a, a big a major corporation backing them and they're uh, soon to release their project as well. Um, and as you can see, what I wanted to show you, I had to zoom in a little bit more on Tell to give you a better idea of what's going on. Well, I guess I'll zoom in in this portion. This area here, let's see where is the... Don't know where that toolbox little set is. supposed to be this but oh well this area here is an accumulation zone for tell which also happens to be happening uh, I can't send it up there which also happens to be happening on Centivate zoom out similar actions going on but the best part about this is tell it looks like the indicators are topping out but sensivate as you can see here god i wish those things would get out the way here that's what we're going to do as you see here the uh the, the stochastic rsi is still curling up from the bottom on the three-day chart the one week even more uh, one week really doesn't count. There's not enough uh, data here to go off of. Um, the one day, the one day looks like it's topping out. But what happens with these low cap coins is near the end of their, uh, near the end, what seems like the end of their indicators, uh, a lot of volume comes in. And the same thing happened with Tell. And just the same thing happened with Tell. One day it's starting to go flat on this. Go the stochastic RSI is near the top, but what happened was we started to get a lot of volume just when you think it's going to top out. So I expect the same thing to happen on Centivate. Centivate is an immediate. Uh, I added more yesterday, even though I've been holding 
I added a lot more because I expected to do a tail coin type of move. Um, now another token I've been uh, pressing on social media the past few days is XVG Verge. Uh, Verge has had its, its number of problems recently. I'm not saying that any of these projects, well, besides, okay, let's just say for Verge. I'm not saying Verge is a great project. It's a token you can utilize on Pornhub of all places, but they've had a, a number of hacks, a lot of hacks. Um, hacks usually happen when uh, the network is unsecured. There aren't enough users on it. Uh, there aren't enough believers holding up the nodes uh, to secure the network. And somebody comes in and steals the coins. Now, they're not going to immediately sell it off into another coin. They're not going to sell all their tokens off into another coin. Uh, they, the people who are hackers, they understand market cycles. And in this market cycle, in the market cycle for Verge, it pumps every three years, every three and a half years or so. And it pumps massively. So these hackers, you'll start to see a lot of tokens coming into exchanges for something like this to happen. And if you zoom in, something similar happened on in uh, the sa around the same time period we're in right now in March, or excuse me, um, May. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. There are a lot of uh, there are a lot of Verge loyalists still out there, and they've been waiting for this mother of all pumps to happen. And as you can see, uh, the alt season pumps have gotten bigger and bigger. Now, this pump I was in, me and a few other Black Lion Kings were in at four Satoshis, and that was an unquantifiable amount of of uh, U.S. dollar. You just couldn't. I don't know what it was, maybe like a quarter of a penny, something. I don't remember what it was at the time, but it went from, we got in somewhere around here between four and seven Satoshis. We held, held, held. We had an alt season blow off. Um, and during this period it, that ended in June, we went to 2000 Satoshis. Now that's, uh, that is the equivalent of a 500x or 6,000% increase. Um, I sold most of mine on the way up, but it, it definitely enjoyed uh, the profits. Um, and if you held too long, you got, you know, you got dumped on and you became a bag holder. Oh, excuse me, it went to 200 sats there. Um, you had the opportunity to reload around 50 sats, which a lot of smart, a lot of the smart traders. Um, I was in contact with were we started loading back up at 50 and we went back to uh, we went to 2000 Satoshis so if we have a similar move happen from here let's say let's say we are in let's say we're in May at 20 Satoshis it went to 200 that's a uh, that's a 10x from where we're at right now just for just in the season we're in now now, we had a lot of sideways action happening with the market, which uh, I think a similar thing is going to happen after June. Uh, summertime, traders don't like to trade, uh, big institutional traders anyways. Um, they come back in the fall, and guess what happens? Uh, a lot more accumulation, and we start back from, what, 50 sats again, and we go all the way to 2,000. For the most part, if you weren't around in 2017, uh, or 2018 even, then you don't know what happened during this time. This is what happened. Market cycles, uh, they 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 don't rhyme, they don't repeat, but most of most of the time they rhyme. Um, a lot of these tokens like uh, Verge, Tell, and XDN, which I'm about to show you, they have repeating market cycles. They pump for a few weeks and then they drop and they become irrelevant. So you want to make sure you don't get caught up in the you're going to get caught up in the euphoria. Everybody does. It's hard. It's hard not to, especially if you've never had money or made money this quickly. Then you're going to get caught up in the euphoria. You're going to start to listen to people saying, "Oh, it's going to go to twenty thousand satoshi." Something completely unrealistic, like Bitcoin going to a million. Bitcoin can go to a million, but it won't be going to a million this year, or next year. It'll be four or five years from now, um, and it'll take a major dip. So most of the, uh, every coin will be experiencing that same those same uh, drawdowns. We call it a drawdown. 
Um, basically, it's an opportunity to, to buy again. Uh, but you want to sell somewhere when you're comfortable, when you're like, okay, I've made enough. You can't, you can't be greedy. It's hard not to be greedy, but you have to avoid being greedy. Um, so what I expect is a 10 X before summertime for verge. And then another, another 10 X from there or a hundred X, honestly, uh, where we're going to just see a massive blow off top, uh, in the entire market, the market will probably get to like $20 trillion. Uh, everything is going to go up. Um, you want to make sure you come out of this with profit. You don't want to stay in thinking it's going to run forever. It's not going to run forever. Um, the next one I want everybody to see, actually, no, I want to show this one as well. Uh, Bitrix should have, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody showed in the, uh, I showed a, a post from, Twitter, a chart from Twitter on how it's going to, how all this is going to work. And it's pretty simple. Go here. We'll probably, anyway, it's too much. It's too much work. It's too much work. Anyways, we should go much higher than 2000 Satoshis. Or if we're going to, going to 2000 Satoshis, um, Bitcoin's value is probably at 200,000 by then. And we don't need to go much higher than that. We're still going to capture a lot of USD value. We might see, uh, we might see a $3 verge, honestly, because it went to 30 cents at 1.10 X from there. That's $3. Ultimately we could see, uh, we could see a $15 verge at the end of the day. It's like, how much are you holding? How much do you believe in, How much do you understand this market cycle? And another token I want to show you is, um, digital note as you see it's doing something very similar you see these big spikes here these are all time these are all sell-offs none of that volume counts um all the red bars but ultimately let's get rid of that don't need that ultimately this is on the one week chart um we're gonna see something similar see so you see here same thing happened is it is have you gotten chills yet seeing the similarities between the market now and and the market from 2017 it all happened around the same time especially for low uh low satoshi coins the, it, it's at 12 satoshis right now 12 zero 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 twelve bitcoin is 12 satoshis um similar thing happened in may that's why i expected may to be a, a big month for low sat coins but look what happens there uh, around june we get a big sell-off and then we do it again uh, at the end of the year. Uh, we get a little push um, in, in October, September, October, fall again, all the way to the bottom. And this is what these tokens do. Yes, it's volatile, but you get in now, you sell when you have a lot of green and you let it fall. Don't expect it to be this, uh, don't expect it, this project to hold up. Um, and to be anything special this is what it's made for it's made for liquidity all this money is going to be made and a lot of people are going to lose it because they don't understand when to cut their their uh their profits and get off the casino table this is literally a token uh verge and xdn are tokens where you get in get out make a lot of money brag to your friends buy a car buy a house buy something you never would have bought before um and this only lasted for three or four weeks uh, for one 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 and a half month so these are three i wanted to show you um choose wisely again i put 250 dollars into xdn and um i i put well i put a lot more into verge no i put 500 in xdn and, and a lot a uh, few thousand into verge because i know where they're going I plan on making a lot of money with it. Same thing with Tell. I only had a hundred dollars into it, and I, I, th I three hundred eighty-five times my money just by holding it through these market cycles. And I sold half of it for profit, and, and I'm going to do something with it. But make sure you're taking profit. Don't sit on your profit expecting it to go much higher, especially if you don't have the research to to prove it. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks.